Hello and welcome back to episode three. Um, I'm finishing up with Daniel, or I was finishing up with Daniel. Now he needs me to go um, speak to Waking Cloud about taking her as a companion on my trip, which is all the way over here. Yeah. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scout. Founder. Is this pleasing to you? Certainly. We should make haste then. Alrighty then. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, Raise it. Raise it even to the foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? Um. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they will just leave us in peace. But they won't. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work, and the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. Daniel and I don't agree on everything. But in our hearts, we both want what's best for the sorrows and dead horses. You've seen what the white legs do, and I think you know what has to be done. If Daniel hears it from someone other than me, well... Zion may not be lost to us after all. Thank you. It will be for the best. Okay, I'm just trying to get out of here for real. What's up with all these, like, mountains and stuff? Oh my gosh. These bobby pins are too fragile. Bro, get over yourself. Okay, we got in. Find a way to unlock the door, okay. Note added to your... Oh, I already got all the notes. 
Alright, let me look at my quest. Find the map. Okay, I need to look for... Did I not- did I see a map in here? Or maybe I just wasn't looking for it. When salt upon wounds took New Canaan. Um, doctor's bag, definitely need that. Grand staircase map. He ordered the white oh, legs to it. salt the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster could do that? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Okay. Steal the white legs war totem. Deal with the white legs camp. I have to deal with them. Killing these docile animals. My bad. Okay. Bighorn Bluff. Not sure what I'm doing there, but. Those tents down there. That is a white leg war camp. Do you see the war totems they've erected around the tents? White leg warriors pray to them for strength and savagery before battle. This is no raiding band. You might rush them and take them by surprise. We would be badly outnumbered then, though, and these will be strong fighters. We might also use their superstition against them. White leg warriors believe that to lose their totems on the eve of battle is a terrible omen. Yes, if their war totems were to disappear, they would likely lose the will to fight. I will follow your command, but I advise caution if it is possible. Okay. I thought I was supposed to be a friend to animals. Oh, for f***'s sake. Why am I so delicate? Let me... travel. Let me see if I can just go over there. This is the only sure path from the Narrows to Pine Creek. They will be cut to ribbons by these traps. Disarm the traps if you can, or find the white legs who place them and drive them off. Our advanced scouts should be able to deal with them if they don't have to fight off raiders at the same time. I would suspect you are right. Perhaps we should try to find them before they lay more traps. As you say. I'm just looking for totems. See what's close to me. Yeah, I need to go this way. And I think it's over that way to the right.
Then there's three of them that are like. It is good to travel with another. Somewhat close. I closed. spend so long scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. I'm glad they don't care if I'm here. It's pretty cool. This is Pine Creek, one of the only ways out of Zion Valley. Watch out. Many dangerous beasts lair nearby. Hmm. Our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. I stand with you. Do they not care that I'm here? Oh. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? I checked on everything in the valley and got you a map. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. No going back whether you decide to whether the sorrows should f fight or flee. Your destination will set their destiny. Um, will you be unable to finish any remaining quests with Zion once you make your decision? <laughs> um... I think we should fight him. No. Why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the Sorrows don't need to butcher the White Legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The Sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. Um, and you have the right to pull them off of their land. This is the way the world is. They're part of it, whether you like it or not. No. This is how we made it. And we brought it to them. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs' leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. God I mean, be with you. Honestly. Um less spread. Twice as like a score critical hits. Honestly, it's like Okay, yeah, killing people is wrong, whatever, but why are you on site with us? You know? Let me see where I need to go. Uh, I'm not swimming there. Let me get to... Okay, let me find a place to stand. This is taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. Uh. It's not my fault. 
thought it's taking too long. It's supposed to be. Yeah, makes sense. He really said, I'm just gonna abandon her. Catch his hands without toes. Soa. You can no That's the weapon that I want. The shish kebab? Shish kebab? Okay, well I'm gonna use the shish kebab then. Maybe I don't have one. Yeah, I'm gonna use the shish kebab. What? Where are you, little hooker? Really said a, a, a bye. You're taking too long. You can no ninku for me. I love this. Okay. How am I supposed to get back here? Apparently, I'm not. I'm supposed to go the other way. This way, maybe. Nope. There we go. There's a lot of them. Hold on. Let me look at this as a map. So was I not supposed to go th oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, I'm supposed to go this way. See, it's telling me to go back out the door. I just, I don't know. Yeah, it's telling me to leave. No wonder he thought I was taking forever, because I am taking forever. Just die. Again, these maps are so confusing. What cave would you like me to be in? Is my question. Or was I just not supposed to go in the cave at all? Okay. Poster.
did it wear off? This is my question. What is getting splashed on me? That I'm like dying over here. Let me get down in this tent real quick. I can't. Oh my gosh. The vats on Fallout 4 at least would like let you just get a break. Okay, what is that shit? What is going on? I don't like it, whatever it is. What is getting splashed in me? Fucking acid? I don't understand. <sighs> okay. So. I don't know what the hell that is. We warned you at Syracuse. Once you resisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene conserva O. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? I thought he was Ogman. killing me. Kunaman, mad! He kill all white legs! You talk! You stop! Um... Him hear you. You talk. Don't listen to this... thing. His cries are those of a mad beast caught in a thicket. He gave no mercy to my family. And I will give none to his. Okay. No objections. God's will. It is what it is. Your people have been trying there. to kill me. That's it. It's finished. When they hear what happened here, the White Lakes will crawl back to their great salt lake. If Caesar doesn't kill them, they'll wither and die like the cursed mongrels they are. Come, let's find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon. And there is still much work to be done. Hey. I don't know if that was the right choice or and not. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Joshua Graham's chilling execution of Salt Upon Wounds seared into their minds. The surviving White Legs retreated to the Great Salt Lake. Unable to shake the memory of their brutal defeat and the dead horse's savagery in battle, the White Legs feared further reprisals. They fled north, out of Utah, into Wyoming. The wilderness was harsh, and the first winter claimed over half the tribe. When spring came, the survivors parted ways in small bands. And so, the White Legs died a quiet, ignominious death. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. Watching as the courier encouraged Joshua Graham to execute salt upon wounds, the Sorrows learned that New Canaan offered no mercy to the wicked. The Sorrow's transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a merciless warlike people broke Daniel's heart. Over time, the Sorrow's became ever more ruthless in their dealings, even with each other. Daniel traveled to and fro between the New Canaanites and Zion, continuing to plead for a return to the old ways whenever he visited. Eventually, the Sorrow's grew tired of his blather and turn their backs on him. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs in Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. 
every two months. The caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. With the white legs crushed, Joshua Graham led the sorrows and dead horses in tearing apart and burning the corpses of their enemies. He set about training his army in the way of the Canaanite, and soon the new Canaanites and tribes of Zion were feared well into the Mojave. Legends of the Burn Man grew even more depraved and terrifying. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. Okay, so... Um... I don't know. <laughs> I I don't that was that the main quest or return to the Mojave via the southern passageway. Is this the southern southern passageway? I can't speak. Yeah it is, okay. I think I'll end it there and um, yeah thanks for watching I appreciate it bye I got spurs that jingle jangle jingle jingle jangle as I go riding merrily along jingle jangle and they sing oh ain't you glad you're single <laughs>